Good evening and welcome back everybody to another adventure with Kyle. Uh, another update came out so you know, obviously they're gonna have some a little bit of changes here and there. But uh, yeah no uh, took a little bit of a break over the holidays and uh, in my little, little time when I felt like gaming, I uh, built this awesome bugger. Okay, it's a little bit like my uh, steam, uh, my adventure boat. You know, I left my, uh, or I put a submarine on the side here. This, my submarine and all that goodness. I built a, made a Canadian flag out of paint block, little paint blocks. A little blinker bugger with temperature and wind direction and stuff. Yeah, lots of goodies in this guy. No, uh, it it's probably taken me over like uh, two weeks, three weeks, if I'm being honest, to to get this boat actually to up to par to where I might want to do a video on it. So yeah, this is your cabin, your captain's cabin. We should probably go downstairs and uh, turn on some heaters here, cause yeah, I don't think these ones producing any heat right now. This is our engine room here. We got our uh, little generator on the side. Which, uh, our first boiler looks like it's getting there. Obviously, we don't have our second one going. There's no point. But, uh, yeah, no, we got a nice little four-cylinder. It's really all we need. Okay, let's go on back here to our second boiler room. Okay, and this is our uh, seawater tank. So instead of, uh, I still got a condenser up there, but it only like collects a little bit of steam here and there. But a lot of the steam gets dumped straight out. So if a guy wants, he can just fill the freshwater tanks back up by uh, using that distillator right there. Oh, that's what's going on. That's right, I programmed uh, this little firebox heater or what not to go off every single time it's below uh, 5 or minus 5 because yeah if it's below minus 5 the uh, firebox won't kick on or well if it's like that then you just hold the button and eventually here once it gets up to temperature it'll kick off there it goes so yeah that's the main main thing to do eh? is when you're in the Arctic and everything's getting free or pretty cold, uh, yeah, you want to have a little little bystanders or little backups like that. Have an emergency electric heater or whatever to warm the firebox up to run it. But so that's the, that guy, and yeah, Sawyer News came out there. Uh, they got uh, another one I noticed. But yeah, you can pretty much pick your TV now and whatnot. So but yeah, this is the crew quarters here. So yeah, it's, it can seat four. Oh yeah, yep, get there. She's pretty sweet. I worked pretty hard on her. Got yourself a little toilet. And then, uh, yeah, if we wanted, we can run our little uh, a generator. I got a diesel generator up on the side there. We can start it and run it from all right here so we don't have to go upstairs. But uh, if I really wanted, I can just fire up the, uh, the well, second firebox here in the kitchen. And this will run the uh, second boiler that's in the uh, mid room. What the hell was that? Oh, I guess our boiler exploded. What, why, why is that? Oh, I messed up some piping up here. 
Yeah, I think so. So our, uh, our one little guy is not uh, all doing its, its releasing. It's supposed to only put out five bar pressure, and that's it. But let's get one to fix that very quick. It looks like we didn't really wreck anything else, but so let's get our main engine going. We supply it with steam. Uh, we add our weights here to the back to the or turn on our flywheels, and this is your throttle up position up in the cab. So you only need 50%. That's where it runs the most most efficient to or per se. I do wonder if the steam pressure is going to jump up on us now. We'll see. I guess it'll be short lived. But uh, yes, yeah, so I do have this mini generator running off of the exhaust gases off the big steam. So when you flip the valve to supply it and then obviously kick in it or kick it in. Oh yeah, and you hear our turbo spooling up. Oh yeah. So once everything's engaged, yeah, the engine likes to sit around 85 RPS. Uh, Jen, yeah, likes to sit around 64. I got it uh, geared down right now, so it only produces, like, what I need. Because I really don't need it overpowering, kind of, you know, everything... Uh, if I need to do that, then I'll just run my diesel generator upstairs. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if that kicks in per se. So yeah, that's the engines. Okay, got your crew quarters. And uh, yes, this little guy, this heater box is to heat up the radiators along the ship there. So if we got, uh, if you're just sitting in the cab, right, uh, and you're not running your steam engines or that boiler or anything, you just run that firebox, and then it keeps everything warm enough so you can run it again. So. Yeah, this little guy's, yeah, like 85. I got another one up there in my cabin's, or my uh, captain's cabin. And then, uh, yes, this one reads uh, what's in this room here, this temperature from that guy. Okay, and yeah, this firebox is to run that second boiler. If we run up front here. <laughs> we got ourselves a shower for the crew mates here. So yeah, you close your door. And once you turn the shower button on, it automatically locks the door. I fail safed it so nobody can, like, sink the ship stupidly. Alright, so then, yeah, you turn on your water flow here. And I got nozzles in the roof. Oh, might have been a little too excessive there but yeah see I got oh yes the steam the steam and the water flow from the nozzles yeah so I got some water nozzles up on the roof there to wash a guy off and all that good stuff a pump sucking any water that gets in there out so yeah, they got themselves a little shower or toilet, nice room, big flat screen. Well, I guess I didn't really show too much of the kitchen off. Yeah, so some more just cups, and I put some transponders here to look like bowls. 
And then, yeah, you got a sink, so you just press the button there to suck any fluids out. And it's just a hand crank pump and you know, water flows. Wash your dishes, all that stuff. And of course, we got this guy here, which, you know, we could fire right up. It's nice and warm. Or just shut it down. Yeah, so we got a clock there. And then, yeah, not too much going on down here. Just a radiator here to keep the... Uh, this firebox warm, which it's already hot. <laughs> Alright, and then, uh, yeah, we got all of the equipment there, obviously. Uh, everything a guy could need. A bunch of radios to keep, uh, and in contact with each other, all that stuff. Now, is it regulating or did I accidentally cut that off? Yeah, I accidentally cut it off. Son of a beeswax. Well, I guess before it blows up again, let's get it up to speed. And yeah, it is uh, a really darky. If you want to be uh, gentle with that uh, that clutch, that clutch is pretty much the only thing that's going to be slowing you down and speeding you up. Because the way I have this boat designed is that the main engines constantly run at a constant speed. So when you need that extra power, you got it. You just engage that clutch more and away you go. But yeah, she turns really, really good. Oh my goodness. Wow, this map uh, actually changed quite a bit. It took a tsunami earlier and it looks like it might have actually pushed these ice flows. I'm not sure if that's a mechanic, but those weren't that close before. That would be scary if it was. Eventually the icebergs pressed it up against the dock. <laughs> All right, so we'll get some speed out of her. We'll set our trim up. Bring that nose down. I guess I forgot to show you the windows and stuff, but yeah, she can do a nice steady 12, 13. That boiler's gonna explode. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's uh, that's my boat. Yeah, there she goes. <laughs> So yeah, I'll, I'm going to do a little bit more work to it, and uh, yeah, like I said, this is uh, it's my work in progress. I built her up from the ground, and oh boy, it's been uh, it's a rough go. My wife pretty much hates me for the last two weeks. <laughs> I've been just non-stop down here working on it, so... My most favorite part is that Canadian flag. That That is wicked. <laughs> that alone was pretty hard to do with all the paint, the little tiny paint blocks, because it's like, yeah, you, you gotta, yeah, it's do a little grid and stuff, and it's hard, but I got it. It looks great. It looks good. I don't know. Let me, uh, let me know what you guys think, or, um, I don't know. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want me to uh, want to see an episode of like hauling or something like that. Oh, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm 
definitely gonna change the placement of that pipe. That's for sure. So yeah, that guy's gonna get changed, because that's straight into the cabin. And then we got our uh, crew quarters access here on the deck. We can just run down, closer, whatever. Oh, and it looks like I forgot to hook up another light here. Oh. <laughs> Listen to those turbos spooling down, eh? Phew! But yeah, the way I have it set up, okay, with the piping here, is uh, it runs off the exhaust. So this is the exhaust portion of the engine or the steam. So it forces everything out to have more f fluid in kind of thing. That's how I have it set up. When those weights aren't engaged, this has an RPS of like 1.12. Mm. So really, really good RPS. Add idle, and then when I engage all my weights in the back, which I'll show you in a sec, it'll, yeah, it just, the amount of torque this thing has, which I got that over here, on the dials. So yeah, I got 1100 engine torque, and 257 prop. What is that noise? Is that a penguin? I think that was a penguin on the outside of the boat. Yeah, and then we got ourselves our little window here. When you're driving, it actually is about like midway up. So yeah, you can the end of the water or whatnot, uh, top of the water or down in the bottom. That's what I was trying to say. But as you see with this firebox, it will yeah bring this bring this up to 20 degrees in here. 182 temp. Firebox. No, oh, she's nice. Gotta have that big flat screen. Gotta thank Sawyer's uh, news for that. But yeah, I hop in the bottom, hop out with no problem. Even in the top bunks, you're nice and smooth. So it's going to show you my weights and stuff. So how is kind of like able to like generate or like take all that engine torque and like put it to that prop without losing any RPS or like major power is like, oh no wait, I guess I changed the whole back of this boat and stuff. So I got one large and one large prop in the back there. Up out here, I guess. That's right. I enclosed it. It used to be under the boat, but now it's inside of it. So yeah, I got all these flywheel weights under there. There. Yeah. So a crap load of flywheel weights. So yeah, when that engine gets up to momentum, it holds like steady 84, 85. RPS and like steady and then once it gets to that prop it's just like a hammer it's like instant torque and power right now so it's perfect and then yeah I put another one uh, flywheel on the gen set just to keep that uh, the revolutions and everything more steady on it so that's really all that did to it But yeah, I do have electric heaters upstairs, uh, a button for that too, so if you aren't running this firebox, 
Because, yeah, this one's not connected up to the main um, main coal supply. It only has, like, 220, I think, total. But, uh, yeah, the main supply would be hooked up to the second boiler in the main firebox. And, uh, yeah, it's, like, 1,500 or something like that can hold. So. so, yeah, you can go a long ways with it. And I got the uh, the first firebox, or the original firebox. It's actually tucked in behind the wall in the back. So, so there's three fireboxes total on this boat. Getting a nice twenty. Yeah, what is that? See any penguins up there? See anything in the water? But yeah, guys, um, let me know what you think about the boat. She's a beauty to me. She's gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know. We still got a lot of uh, a lot of you know, tweaks and tuning to do to it, but, uh, yeah, I know, it's, uh, it's an all original. The only thing that's on here from the workshop is the Sawyer's News TV. <laughs> yeah, if you guys like it, like I said, please throw a comment down below, throw a like, something. Let me know you want to see more of my creations or... You know, let me know if you even want to watch me build it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, until then, you guys keep her easy, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good night.